What's up guys, Ian here over at MA Performance, coming to you live in our new expansion building. Today's video is gonna be on the Civic X or the new 1.5T powered SIs. We're gonna go over the five top mods that we think are beneficial on the SI platform. So during the uh, past few months, we've been heavily dialing into the car from tuning to fabricating hard parts, drag racing, et cetera. So in that time, we've kind of learned a little bit about the platform. What does the car like? What does the car not like? And we've compiled these components for you today. So the first mod you should do, hands down, ECU flash. What we got here is the K tuner. This is what we currently use on our shop SI. And there are a lot of benefits to just this right out of the box. Even on a completely bone stock SI with no modifications, you know, we would see 20 wheel horsepower and 60 wheel torque gains just with the, the flash alone. Not only that, it comes with pre-built base maps from K-Tuner. We also offer off-the-shelf tunes that we've developed in-house as well. And there are many other e-tuners out there or pro tuners that would be able to do custom maps for you down the road. Not only is power improved, but drivability as well. Better spool response. Most cases, sometimes better fuel economy when you're just cruising around. And then, you know, obviously with any other additional bolt-on mods you do down the road, it's gonna have to be tuned. So, like I said, this by far is probably one of the best bang for the bucks that you can do on these right out of the box. On top of the K-Tuner, we also have Honda Atta Solutions as well. So we got you both covered. All right, so now you got the car tuned. It feels good, it's fun. But as you may have heard, the factory clutch could become an issue once the car is tuned, even just a stage one tune with, with stock hardware. We found during testing, the factory clutch was slipping even at just stage one power levels. So we've been opting to choose the Clutch Masters line. Our favorites right now is the FX350 and the 400. These hold up to stage two powers and beyond, you know, if you plan to do an upgraded turbo down the road. Great clutch for that. The drivability is, is great, I mean, surprisingly, for, you know, a puck style clutch. Pedal feel is practically close to stock. A little stiffer, but very, very livable. And it's just easy to drive. I'm really, really impressed with how that clutch feels in this particular car. They also make a couple of different flywheel options. Um, now, these clutches can be used on the stock dual mass if you prefer, but for durability reasons, also a little bit of performance benefits, uh, they do offer a lightweight flywheel option, which we recommend. Again, does not affect the drivability too much, quicker revs, feels really, really peppy in those first couple of gears, and it's a lot more durable, especially for drag racing, road racing, autocrossing. If you're going to be banging gears, uh, going to that single mass is going to be a lot better than the factory dual mass option. So now we've got the car tuned, we've got a clutch to hold the power. Now we can start getting into your traditional bolt-ons. I mean, obviously the most common one right off the gate is the intake system. So the MAP intake, this is a uh, handmade in-house here. Uh, we use 304 stainless steel, all the brackets, the map housing, everything's made in-house. Fitment's great, quality's great, and there's also a lifetime warranty on anything. So if this cracks or bracket breaks off, we cover that for life. Unlike some other traditional aftermarket intakes, they really use a large billet MAF housing. We've incorporated a larger inlet here to help increase uh, just velocity. And then it tapers down into a factory sized MAF housing. So this won't really affect your MAF scaling too much and just looks a lot cleaner. So with the intake, obviously, is this bad boy green filter right here. Now it's a hefty guy, but there is some science behind it. Uh, in fact, we tested multiple different intake designs, shapes, sizes, uh, and this gave us the best results as far as power, like across the entire RPM range. It also incorporates our six inch velocity stack as well. So yeah, super, super nice feature. So yeah, we got the air going in. Now we get the air going out. And the most restrictive part, typically on a turbocharged car, is the downpipe. So we've come up with this uh, design here. This is our MAP three inch downpipe. Again, just like the intake, 304 stainless steel, CNC cut flanges. Again, everything here is made in house. Lifetime warranty, everyone loves that. Great flow, good performance upgrades. We also offer it in ceramic coating as well. So for a lot of you guys that like to protect you know, from underhood temps or whatever, track use, uh, we do have a ceramic coating option. 
All right, so now that you've got the MAP intake and the MAP downpipe, this is where some additional tuning's gonna have to come back into play. Again, reason why you should have a K-Tuner or a Honda right off the bat. If you were to buy the MAP intake and downpipe, we will provide you with our off-the-shelf stage two tune to accommodate. And that is free with the purchase of the kit. And I'll have Eric put up some dyno sheets of the stage two, if we can throw that up there. That would be rad. I need a glass of water. Isn't that a Missy Elliott song? Rata ta ta, glass of water. Last but not least, the fifth item, obviously the, the intercooler. So during testing on stage one and stage two, factory intercooling these cars works great, obviously, um, at stock power levels, and it worked very well with stage one. Once we started getting at stage two power levels, the factory intercooler was starting to show its limits. So this one here is uh, a prototype. This is not the finished product, but this is pretty close to what it's gonna be looking like. It's the same one that we've been using in our shop SI at the track during our stage two testing, etc. Obviously with the larger core, different fin design and whatnot, the better flowing end tanks, you're gonna see, of course, cooler IATs, as well as just the car being able to recover a lot quicker. So for drag racing guys or guys at the track, you know, once you get start getting a couple runs in with a factory intercooler, you get that baby hot, it's gonna start pulling timing, you're gonna lose power, it's gonna feel sluggish. So having a nice, bigger aftermarket intercooler is certainly gonna aid with keeping your performance consistent, 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 and persistent. Keeps your air cool and calm. Cool and calm air mixed with cool and calm fuel. Mixed with the fire spark makes power, and that power makes you go fast, and going fast is cool, and map is cool, and we like to go fast! Anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all the subscribers, by the way. It's amazing that you guys take your time out of your busy days to watch us goofballs play with cars, but it's awesome. If you have any questions on the parts or the platform itself, or if you're looking to get into an SI and you want to know anything about it, comment below, make sure to hit us up, call us, email, hit us on Facebook. We're here to help. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.